Welcome back to RBI Recapped. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Liverleaf, released in the year 2018. The movie begins with the main character of the movie, Haruka Nozaki, opening her school locker to find dirt and dust inside it. She is then approached by a handsome and smart classmate, Mitsuru Aiba, who asks her if she is waiting for someone. Nozuki replies yes and Aiba greets her goodbye. Later, while Nozaki is returning home, she is bullied by her classmates. They have stolen her shoes away from the locker and throw them in a pit full of mud. Teasing her. Nozaki gets down inside the pit, but trips on the mud to get all dirty. She just picks up her shoes and the girls begin throwing her belongings from the bag all over the place. Tachibana mentions that they are doing it because she played with the feelings of another girl, Taiko. But Taiko denies it and says that it has nothing to do with IBA. Nozaki silently gathers her belongings and walks back home. When Nozaki reaches home, her sister Shuko starts crying. Seeing her in this miserable condition, her father and mother also join them in a family hug. The next day, Nozaki's father goes to her school to complain about the bullying going around. He tells everything to Miss Mikami, but she seems to be ignoring the complaint. She rather suggests she should not come to school until her graduation is completed. Later, Nozaki returns to her classroom where she finds the three ladies scratching on her desk. They also throw sawdust at her face. On the other hand, Nozaki's father is kicked by Nozaki's classmate Kuga while he is returning from the meeting with Mikami, which makes him fall down the stairs. In the classroom, while Miss Mikami is teaching, we can see blood dripping on Nozaki's desk from a dead crow placed in front of her. Kuga tries to call Minami to inform her about the crow, but she again seems to ignore the call. Iba and Kuga get into the chat and stand in front of each other. Meanwhile, Taiko writes something on the paper and passes it to in front, which ends up hitting MS. Mikami. Minami then panics and moves out only to puke, which gives the students a chance to make fun of her behavior. In the evening, when Nozaki reaches home, she is surprised to see her dad injured. Her dad mentions that she should not go to school if she is feeling scared or bullied. He also says that they shifted here because of his job and it's his responsibility to protect them. The next morning, Nozaki has a fever and her mother suggests she not go to school and keep resting. Later, her sister arrives and asks her if she's okay. Hearing that she's alright, Shuko starts dancing and jumping all over. We are then taken back to the scene of the school where the ladies are reminiscing about Nozaki they decide to send someone to check for Nozaki to be. A classmate named Rumi is taken as a help to enter her house and make her come to school every day. She is also threatened that if she is unable to do so, she will be the next target. Rumi then visits her home and finds her sleeping on the bed. She sits down on the floor and asks Nozaki if she is all okay. When Nozaki tells her that she won't be coming to school before graduation, Rumi bursts out saying that if she doesn't come to the school, they will target and torture her. Rumi then clicks some pictures of her and asks her for a music CD for the proof that she has visited Nozaki. The next day, when Nozaki is still absent at school, Rumi is kept inside a cupboard in the classroom and the ladies, including Taiko, start torturing her. On the other hand, we can see Nozaki and her sister walking happily through the forest road where they come across Iba who is clicking pictures. He is happy to see them and also takes a picture of the sisters. During taking their picture, he mentions that it's the first time he is taking a human picture at school. We can see that Rumi is being bullied and her hair is being cut randomly by Taiko. When Taiko asks her if she hates Nozaki, she replies that she wants to kill her. The next day, Nozaki shows the picture that Iba had taken and she likes it a lot. We can see Iba waiting for her outside her house. She then waves goodbye and leaves the house with Iba. The duo roam around the riverside the whole day taking pictures and enjoying each other's company. IBA mentions that after the snowfall the city would look more beautiful and accidentally touches her hand. He apologizes for that, but she says it's okay. He then touches her hand deliberately, and she just smiles. While they're returning to their home at night, they notice the college bullies walking past them looking at Nozaki's house. Nozaki then notices from afar that her house is on fire. 
she then rushes to her house where a crowd had gathered. She tries to enter inside the burning house, but Iba and the crowd stop her. She cries in fear and loss. Then Iba enters the house and takes out the body of her little sister which is severely burnt but is breathing. She is then taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Immediately, her father and mother seem to have died inside the house. We are then cut to the scene at the hospital where Nozaki's grandfather visits her. She is waiting outside the ICU where her sister is kept. She is now living with her grandfather at his house. At school, the group of bullies are afraid by thinking that if anyone finds out that the fire is caused by them, they will be screwed. The two ladies are especially more afraid as they cannot believe that they have burned people alive. However, some of them seem to have no regret that they have burnt down a family. In the next scene, when Taiko is at home, her father mentions that she will be doing whatever he says and he will decide her future. Taiko mentions that she wants to be a beautician, but he ignores her. He leaves the home without informing when he will return back the next day, everyone is surprised to see Noazaki coming to school. She is informed by Aiba that she should not force herself to come to school. Inside the classroom, when she asks the two girls about something, both of them rush outside. Tachibana. The two girls and Nozaki are walking to the same pit where she used to be bullied before. The two girls try to stop Tatiana, but she stabs Nozaki with a pin and makes her fall into the pit. She also mentions that they had set the fire in her house. When Tachibana tries to attack Nozaki with a knife, she is attacked by a nail. Nozaki then beats Tatabana to death. The other two girls try to escape and apologize to Nozaki, but she does not spare them and eventually kills them before dying. One of them mentions that all of the fire plant was of Kugo. Next day at school, when three of the girls are absent, Kugo and the other two start to worry further noticing the police officers outside the school, they panic and Kugo mentions returning home as it is very cold. On the way back, he meets Nozaki and tries to bully her again. When he pushes her, he is stabbed by Nozaki. He runs to save his life, but falls down the slopes and is severely injured. Nozaki then leaves him alone to die in the cold. The next day, because of the heavy snowfall, Grandpa tells Nozaki that the school will remain closed and she can rest all day. Meanwhile, Iba comes to visit Nozaki. Grandpa mentions that he's going to take Nozaki and her sister Shuko back to Tokyo after her graduation. He also asks Iba to take care of her and to protect her. At Rumi's house, she gets a call from the two boys who informs her that the three girls, including Kuga, are missing. He also adds that Nozaki has killed all of them and is coming after her. He threatens her to make a move before she kills her and says that they are going to finish her tomorrow. Next morning, Nozuki is out on her own through the woods when she stops by to admire the liver leaf flower, she is attacked by the two guys. They underestimate Nozuki and decide to split up to hunt her. Aikawa finds her and makes her fall onto the ground. He mentions that he likes her a lot and tries to kiss her, but she denies. Then he tries to force her to kiss, but suddenly is attacked by pliers by Nozaki. Another boy from a distance tries to aim at Nozaki with an arrow but shoots right through Akegawa's head and kills him. When he tries to attack Noazaki, she stabs him and kills him too. In the next scene, we can see the parents of the three girls at the school trying to complain about the missing girls. The next day, Iba comes to visit Nozaki and the two go out for a walk. They reach the same place from where Iba mentioned that the city would look good with snow covering it. They kissed for the first time and Iba promises to protect her. At home, Iba tells her grandmother that he would like to go to Tokyo for further study and wants to live with Noazaki as she has nobody to count on. We are then cut to the scene where Rumi is near the pit where Nozaki was bullied. She slides down the pit to find the dead bodies of the three girls. She is very frightened to see that and tries to call Taiko to inform about all this. However, Taiko does not answer any of her calls. While bullying Rumi, she had mentioned earlier that she would like to kill Nozaki. We are shown footage from the past where she mentions that she would make her burn inside her house, pouring kerosene all over. We are shown that Rumi is carrying a gallon of kerosene with her towards Nozaki's house. 
Tycho prefers to return to her home and the other continues to move forward. In the next scene, we can see Tycho coming to visit Nozuki at her house. After finding no one at the house, she starts to return back. On her way back, she notices Natsaki and stops to meet her. She returns the music CD which Rumi provided her and mentions that she has been listening to it all night. When the footage of their earlier friendship is shown, it turns out that they were best friends earlier and when Nozaki started being closer to IBA, their friendship was affected. When Taiko is about to return home, she apologizes to Nozaki for whatever she has done to her. On her way home, Taiko is attacked by Rumi with a knife. Rui succeeds in injuring her legs and is happy to see Taiko scream. She then approaches to kill her but is kicked by Taiko. Taiko manages to make a cut on her face, but still Rumi stabs her on her chest and runs away from there. In the next scene, Iba calls Nozuki to inform her that he will join her in Tokyo and both of them can live together. Nozaki replies that she won't be going to Tokyo and would rather stay there. After that, we can see some blood in Iba's hand. He is also very angry to hear Nozaki refusing him. He slams the telephone and goes to his grandmother who is severely injured by him. It turns out that Iba attacked his grandmother to be with Nozaki. It is also revealed that he has killed his father and mother too. We can deduce that Iba is also the one who has been bullied in his childhood by his father. Later, he leaves his grandmother on the floor to die. At Rumi's home, she is afraid and when her mother asks her about what has happened, she just stabs at the door and requests her not to be so nice to her. Meanwhile, the parents of the missing students gather together at the school asking for details about their children. Miss Mikami arrives there and the parents start insulting her. Minami explodes her anger of being bullied every single day and she vomits again. She falls on the road and gets crushed by the snow shredding machine to die instantly. At the hospital, we see Rumi trying to burn Shuko. Nozaki arrives in time and attacks her. When Rumi mentions that she should not kill anyone in front of her sister, she leaves her and Rumi runs away. While Nozaki is speaking with Aiba, a nurse comes running to inform Nozaki that her grandfather is severely injured and is at the hospital. Nozaki feels suspicious of Iba and rushes towards him to check his hands. Her suspicion becomes true as she finds Iba's hand full of blood. He further adds that the wound is because he tried to convince her grandmother. A night before, Rumi arrives there and explains how she and other guys let fire to her house. It turns out that they burned her mother alive outside their house. Rumi mentions that she loved the smell of the fire. When Nozuki's father arrived for help, another guy shot him on the leg. Rumi then started throwing kerosene all over his body along with Shuko. Though others tried to stop her, Rumi was the one who lit him on fire along with the little sister. After hearing this, Noazaki tries to attack her but gets stabbed by Rumi. Iba brutally attacks Rumi and in this act throws his bag towards Nozaki. Nozaki finds a picture of her father and sister burning alive. Iba had taken a picture of them before saving her sister. Nozaki is angry to see the picture and Iba tries to explain that he took it because he was intrigued by his act. Nozaki then takes out the knife from her stomach and tries to attack Iba. After she attacks, Iba gets angry at her and starts punching her in the face. Right then, Iba picks up his camera to take a picture of her face. He notices the liver leaf blooming and starts taking its pictures. He tells Nozaki to promise him that she will stay with him, otherwise he will leave her to die in the cold. Meanwhile, Nozaki picks up the bow and arrow of the guy she killed before and shoots right through the camera into the eyes of Iba, killing him. After he dies, she starts moving forward towards her home, but is badly injured. She takes out and has a look at the necklace her sister gave her and falls flat on the road. In the last scene, we see Taiko taking her graduation certificate. She reaches towards their classroom and remembers how she and Nosaki used to be friends together.